All right, guys. I promise you something a little different today. Let's take a look at blackshellgames.com. Press any key to continue. Um, we're going to take a little break from some uh, some Ang Band just for a bit. Um, a, because I suspect some of you must be getting tired of it, despite the enthusiasm displayed by others. Um, B, because to be honest, I'm a little I'm a little Ang Banded out, a little suffering a little Ang Band fatigue. I've been playing it in my spare time. I fired up 4.05 yesterday. My character died, and I went through the old character files and found the character I first started with in Angband like six years ago, still there. A level 41 warrior uh, down on depth 56, so I'm continuing with him. We'll see how far he gets. Um, but I just need a little break from Angband. Um, so what we're taking a look at today is something called Sanctuary RPG Black Edition. Um, <clears throat> this is a weird case, and I'll tell you the three, the three circumstances that make it weird for me. A. Um... There are two versions of this game, or at least at the very least, there were. There is a uh, free to play version for whoever wants it. Uh, there is a Steam version you can buy for I think it's eight ninety nine. Um, I have this in my roguelike folder, and it's listed as Sanctuary Full Steam version, with Full Steam version being capitalized. So clearly, this is the Full Steam version. The Black Edition is the Full Steam version. That said, I can't load it through Steam, and Steam doesn't acknowledge the fact that I own it. I, I didn't pirate it, I assure you. Um, I don't know how I... I don't remember how I got it. Maybe in the... Maybe in the Humble Bundle, or maybe the game just itself doesn't run through Steam. It's just like a... Just like a... a what do you call that? Um, a zip file you download when you paid for it. So maybe I got it through the Humble Bundle, is my guess. Uh, so that's the primary reason it's weird. It's... A, I, I think I have the full paid-for version. I don't specifically remember paying for it. I don't know for sure if I had the full paid-for version. I don't know for sure if the free version still exists. I'll check after this, and if it does, I'll provide a link to where you can get it. If not, uh, find it on Steam for $8.99, Canadian. Uh, secondly, <clears throat> I don't believe it's truly a roguelike, at least in the traditional sense. There might be some random elements in terms of what monsters you meet and that sort of thing, but other than that, it's not. That said, it was it was hugely discussed in the roguelike community for a number of months back when it was first released, and there's a simple reason for that. It is the only RPG I'm aware of that has full... Oh, it's got music. Let me turn it down and check the uh, let me check the status of this. Can you hear that? All right. Let me turn it down in my own ears so I'm not drowned out. Apparently, it's got music. That's cool. Um, but it's the only RPG I'm aware of that has full ASCII graphics. I've never played it. Period. Despite having potentially got it through the humble bundle, I've never played it. So let's let's dive in. Let's give it a try. Let's enjoy Sanctuary RPG. Black Edition. Let's press um, 1 for play. <clears throat> and hit enter. What do we want to be? A new... Uh, there's only the classic versions, or classic characters here. Let's try a new Paladin, because Paladin is my favorite role to play in Angband. And since we're deviating from Angband, let's retain one thing we're familiar with. Paladins. Although it'll be very different in this game, I'm sure, than other games. New Paladin. You are a Paladin, and enjoy copious amounts of strength and intelligence. I enjoy the amount of strength and intelligence I have. It's a lovely thing. Healing various objects and smashing enemies. I heal objects? Healing various objects and smashing enemies are what you like to do best. Objects. You are a sight to behold, and some might even call you a bit overpowered. Good. Graceful in terms of both offense and defense, you are truly heroic. Well, that's good news. Let's hit a key or something. How do we progress? Uh-oh. Are we in the right window, first of all? Okay. Enter. Escape. Oh, uh, press X on your keyboard. <laughs> That's weird. Give me one second, guys. Good health and responsibility starts at conserving mana. When MP is above 50%, regenerate 5% of current health per turn. Okay. I like to smash objects with my face, since I can't feel a thing. Health regeneration above is doubled if rage meter is full. Okay, got it. Do you want to view the detail perks? Sure. Good health and responsibility. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I like to smash object. Yep, got it. Don't test my faithfulness. I serve the light. Repost will heal for 50% of damage dealt. Okay. I spent my formative years learning how to budget mana. Regenerate health equal to four times each mana point spent. Interesting. So whenever we spend mana to cast a spell, I guess we get back health. For great justice, the tides of mana are always on my side. Gain 20 magic points when attacked while barrier is active. Okay. Being overwhelmingly smart absolutely has its perks. It shouldn't be apostrophed there. 
uh, gains bonus attack from manual allocation of stat points in wisdom and intelligence. And finally, the derogatory name Healbot is often applied to me in conversations. Heals are 5% more effective. Got it. Oh, there's fucking more. Don't get close to me. You'll just get shocked by my vibrating potato. 10% chance to shock enemy when attacked while barrier is active. I always carry around an extra shield or three for protection. Innate 10% chance to block all enemy attacks. Go away. I just want to be left alone. I'll hurt you. On successful block, deal 100% of your attack to enemy. I get such a rush sometimes when I hit them just right. Critical hits have a 10% chance to cure all status effects. Cool. <clears throat> Healing comes real easy for me, even when I'm not trying. Hit confirms will heal you for 33% of your current HP. I've lost track of what the hell I'm doing here. Skeletons, I eat them for breakfast. Not literally, of course. Deal 25% bonus damage to all skeletons. And it's hard for me to fight without my trusty bulwark. Your damage is reduced by 25% when a heavy shield is not equipped. Okay. Presumably I have all of that. It's not like a list of things I could get. Let's be male. Just to be done with it. What's my body type? Um... I'd like to say thin, but these days it's probably medium, to be honest with you. <clears throat> medium. Character name, let's be Jeff. Let's, let's relate to our character on the fullest level. Old Potato. It's like my augment. I can only have one, or, or maybe it's random if I take something else. Can I pick something else? Let's try two. No, you only picked Old Potato. Alright, look at our appearance. We can, we can change our appearance in ASCII mode. That's kind of neat. Let's, um, scramble. Two. Let's change the top. Let's randomize the top. I want hair. Actually, that, that is the closest likeness you're going to get to me in real life. So we're going to take that F. Even part of the hair on the correct side. Well done. Place of origin. Northern Ariat. The ability to bend the mystical elements. Central Tyrael. The strength to take down enemies with force. Southern Assyria. The endurance to withstand brutal attacks. Let's take um, Central Tyrael. All right, we got more choices here. I think, <clears throat> unless it's telling me the, the, the spells I have, maybe. What is this? No, okay. I'm, I'm further specializing my character. I guess I can be a flamkin charred with hellfire. These fire breathers relish in blood. A Jotunar, dwarven inhabitants of Jotun. Pain is their pleasure, or Jotun, perhaps. Whispera. These dark shadow creatures are truly one with nature. Um. I'm going to take a flamkin. Press any key to continue. We have a lot of fucking uh, things to do here. So we have classic, no respawns, death is permanent, absolutely. Another correlation with um, roguelikes. It even calls it the quintessential roguelike experience. Or a soft core, core or limited tick. Let's take um, classic. <laughs> yes, by all means, play an interesting mag. That's great. Move my mouse out of the way. We thought the book would be closed for good. We thought this day would never come. We were wrong. <laughs> oh, it's open. What's gonna happen? Scary dots are appearing. Many moons ago, there existed a mystical blade so large and so powerful. There it is. Not at all phallic. There we go. <laughs> that it would spell certain doom for the living if it was ever stolen. I love these graphics, guys. This is fucking something else. The matron, she... She wanted to find this majestic sword. I think I know why. <clears throat> After years of searching, only to come up dry, the sword's hiding place was revealed in the lost pages of the Eidolon. She managed to locate the sword. There it is in a stone and pry it from the hardened stone. This is awesome. Wielding its great power, the matron then sought to destroy all life. Dot, dot, dot. Enter. Cirrus the Magnificent. Is that me? My Cirrus? No, as a magician of some sort. Yes, that's his actual name. <laughs> His purpose? To banish the matron and to protect the few who remained. Some sort of spell. After the Great War, he managed to seal her away in an icy crystal. Well done, Cirrus. Look at how wide his eyes got. But even a mighty wizard such as Cirrus was no match for the darkness. 
Holy shit, that's great. With the crystal shattered, the matron was freed from her prison. Then what happened? She looks like she's on Alcatraz. No one knows what became of Cirrus. Not a trace of him remains. Dot, dot, dot. Some say Cirrus will come back for us. That I cannot believe. And I don't know how I ever could. Press any key to continue. You got it. I pressed a key. You did not respond. There we go. Your name is Jeff. That's true. You are a paladin of Flamkin descent. You were born without a bladder. What? You use the restaurant. The restroom part me a lot more than most. Raised by normal middle-class parents, you are half human, half drone. Administering mouth-to-mouth -to, -mouth to a crocodile has been your biggest regret. One to enjoy lemons, you have a tiny, tiny mouth. Today you went to the arena and got hammered. A horse appears behind you and drops an invisible ocarina into your hands. Suddenly, a tall, well-dressed woman walks up to you and cries. You laugh, unsure if you understand what's going on. You call 1-800-CONTEXT. This is your story. Um, I don't know what Ocarina is, aside from hearing it in the context of um, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I don't know what the fucking Ocarina is. I don't know that word. I never bothered to look it up because I've never played any Legend of Zelda, really. Give me one more moment and we'll continue with my small bladder. I mean, these are random perks and deficiencies given to me, but I don't know. Maybe it's just descriptive stuff? I don't know. I'm walking, apparently. I'm so sorry I did not see you there. I beg of you, take these items. It's the least I could do. Onward now. You must make it to gate 16. Loot. You've received a heavy crate of gold pieces. Nice. Let's open it. Oh, we got a new weapon. Bro. Bro? Normal broad axe. I mean, it's just represented by the letters bro. Um, attack 2, plus 1 strength, plus 1 wisdom. My old weapon was fist. Let's equip the... Uh, Bro, let's just try small E rather than capital E. Does that work? Yep. Item equipped. Alright, so I'm guessing we have... Um, I'm guessing we have an, uh, a broad accent. That's it. Let's try C for character. Yeah, we can see our inventory right here. Um, do we see our stats anywhere? Character info with further C, perhaps? You are a paladin, etc. Um, here's how we get to the upgrade screen, I guess. If we, uh, if we had experience to spend, I'm supposing. Let's just try and upgrade it right now, see what happens. Let's try upgrading our maxi points by 30. That didn't work. Alright, there's all kinds of character information. Let's go to our inventory. There is a, a game manual that you can only access here, I guess. Enter. Flip. Back. Alright. Um... All right, let's uh, let's. We have points to assign mastery. It says five. Assign mastery in brackets three. Maybe I have three points to spend. Let's try it. Let's try heavy mastery since we have our axe. Shall we put it all into there for now? All right, we're all about the axe. All about the axe. About the axe. No crossbow. All right, let's go to not not view game manual. That would be boring for you. Um, but we'll do it if we have to, if we can't figure out what to do. Reach gate 16. Can I turn or anything? How do I how do I move, do you suppose? I'm pressing 6. No, let's try 1. 1 for go to gate 16. Boss! A mighty blue slime is up ahead. Alright, a mighty blue slime is currently blocking your path. We can see its hit points up there. It is shrouded, whatever that means. It has an attack of 3 to 4. I think. Is this us? We have 613 and we have attack of way more. Let's try... Bash. You have hit Blue Slime for 63 damage. Blue Slime has hit you for 7 damage. Well, fuck you, Blue Slime. Uh, apparently we can't just do Bash again. This is going to take some getting used to. I think we can all see that. Um, Linker, etc. Maybe I'll read, I'll read the manual in between. For now, let's... Uh, Let's just dive in to see what happens here. X Smite Flurry Retribution. Let's try X Smite Flurry, not understanding what it's saying to do. Grazed, you have hit Blue Slime for only 76 damage. Only? That's a lot. 
it got us for six. Divine Justice. Let's go down the list, guys. 92 damage. He got us for five. Um, Final Blast, a finisher. I'm guessing as we did all those linkers. Let's try that. Critical, you have hit blue slime with 181 damage. He got us for six. Where'd my nice picture of my slime go? I like the picture. All right. Um, let's do a Reckoning. It's a starter attack, I guess. Okay. A Righteous Slash. No, I want X Divine Rend. I don't know what X stands for. A shield Slam, sure. Not only did it um, drop down to 96, or it, it, we did 96 damage, if you notice under its hit points, there's a little square bracketed box. Got a letter O in it spontaneously. Don't know what that's about. Um, let's do the finisher. That worked well last time. Mending Slam. 288 motherfucking damage. This thing has a lot of health. A lot more than I thought it did. Alright, well, let's just go through again. Bash. Ability has failed, not enough magic point. I didn't notice. Um, let's try Holy Light. I don't know if I have enough magic points for that either. Can I do anything? I guess I have to reposition to restore magic points. You have repositioned yourself, recharging 40 magic points. Now let's final blast his ass. There you go, boss. Dot dot dot. It's no longer in color. I assume that means it's dead. Listen closely. My name is Diane. Take the grassy road to the north. The matron must be stopped at all costs. Good luck, Jeff. Thank you, mate. Diane. I have annihilated the blue slime guy. He's got plus 67 experience points, plus 440 gold. We got a lot of fucking gold. We should go shopping somewhere. Do we get our magic points back? Can we see that right now on the screen? Yeah, we have 40 out of 60. Pressing key to continue. That's fine. Item drop. Okay. That's kind of neat. Oh, look what we got. New armor. Loricated male. Medium armor. Defense 2. Plus 5 intelligence. Plus 4 vitality. Let's equip that since so we have nothing equipped. Leveled up. All right. Um, what do we want to do here? You currently have four stat points left to, to assign. Okay. Um, interesting. Even increasing your, your, your wisdom increases damage. That's kind of interesting, eh? Because you're smarter about where to land your blows, I guess. I'm going to take wisdom. Strength. Intelligence. And vitality. All right, we can also do one of these things. Um, upgrade our max hit points by 30. Uh, upgrade our attack by 2.5. Upgrade our max magic points or upgrade our armor. I'm going to take the max hit points. Now we can add in more points here. Let's go again with uh, Heavy Mastery. All right. We should search the grassy fields for another gate, apparently. I'm only seeing one option where to go. Or 1 to 5, is that what it's saying? It says 1 to go to grassy fields and then 1 to 5. Or we could rest to heal, but we're fine. So let's go to the grassy fields, I guess. As an event, guys. We found a pamphlet. Let's read it. Dear Mr. Geldak. Dear Mr. Geldak. Yes? Do I hit a key? Is that the full breadth of the content? Unfortunately... We will not be able to give you the role of Casanova. Your height of two feet wouldn't make the role of a knight very convincing. However, we do have other parts available that might be suitable for you. We're looking for Shint the Hideous Troll. It's a major part in the play. Also, maybe a pixie? We believe your small hands would come in handy. My apologies for the pun, and we hope to hear from you soon. Burrowgate Theatre. All right. Well, I'm guessing that was not, uh, you know, anything that, um, you know, had any effect on gameplay. We do have a quest, though, to keep searching the grassy fields. So I'm going to press 1 again, I guess, guys. I, I notice we're at some sort of cottage area. The X in the cottage diagram is green. Do you think pressing X might enter there? Shall we try that, just to see what happens? There's an event. 
Mysterious item. A polymorphing item is floating in the air. We can reach for it, eat it, throw something at it, or walk away. Let's reach for it. It stops polymorphing, and you can use it! You have obtained one scrap metal. It's a crafting material. Apparently this game has crafting. That's cool. Alright, man. Let's just search the grassy fields, I guess. By pressing 1, I'm guessing. Should we try 2? Like it's saying 1 to 5. I don't know what that means. Let's try 2. No, it had no effect. Let's go to 1. So the fact, incidentally, guys, that when I pressed 2, it had no effect, but 1 did the little walking thing, and pressing X did the little walking thing, I think I might be onto something with the idea that you can enter buildings or something if you see a, a letter highlighted, maybe. Cavern exploration. Yes, hells yes, let's explore there. Let's explore the area. With 1. Explore the first area, I guess. It's still daytime, apparently. You have stumbled upon an event. All right. A skull is on the floor. I'm not going to eat the skull. I uh, grab the skull and smash it, I guess. You injure yourself trying to smash the skull with your face. Well, that was user error for sure. Um, maybe next time I won't use the face. Let's rest. Let's try R for rest and heal. All right, that worked. You can see it subtracted one arrow from the heal. Maybe we're only allowed to do that three times per day or something? Let's explore the next area. An enemy. Hint. Gone Be Gone can be used to instantly kill a slime's self-esteem. This is not a slime, though. This is Shrouded Champion. Skeleton is in the distance. Glimmering. I like the graphic. What does Shrouded mean, do you think? You've been sideswiped. Skeleton is about... Oh, fuck me. The skeleton does a lot more damage than the slime did. Um... Let's not take Smite Flurry, because um, I don't think we can afford the hit points, necessarily. Our running ability is only 11%. We could run away. I guess let's try and fight this, um, and we'll see how it goes. Let's bash it. 73 damage to it. It's tearing us down, man. I don't want to use any um, magic points. Let's go on with X Smite Flurry. I don't know what X means. We are going to take some damage in doing this. For only 80 damage, Jesus. And then Divine Justice. That does sound promising for killing this dude. Uh, I don't want to use the magic points, but I will. We hit it with 103 damage. It's charging towards me. It's been damaging me from a distance this whole time? Alright, let's do the final blast. We need to do that. 300% attack, 100% critical. We hurt it bad, but we are still, like, obviously way more damaged than it is. I think Holy Light... Well, we don't know it yet. Let's not do it yet. Let's do Divine Rend, which will restore a bit of health to us. It seems like combat's very involved in this, eh? It's like not a, not a small, um, short enterprise. Every combat's going to be like a five, ten minute process. Again, no... No cost to X Reckoning, so let's try that. We're getting pretty hurt. We're going to have to do um, Holy Light soon. Let's do it now. Then we start over, it looks like. Divine Rend. Get back some hit points while we do this. I don't think we can succeed, guys. We've barely heard it. It might even be healing. I'm not sure. I think we need to run. Um, let's try running. We failed. Its attack was blocked. That's a good thing. Let's keep trying to run until we get away. And we'll heal when we have to. I don't think we quite have to yet. Let's try again. Third try. Now we have to heal. I like this music. It sounds like a very much a Japanese RPG kind of music. Skeleton has immolated us. The fuck's a skeleton doing? I've, I've lost track. Is this six? Seventh attempt? Eighth attempt? Alright, he lost sight of us. We got out of there. 
What the fuck, guys? That was terrifying. Let's rest. We're not apparently up to um, something this uh, this terrifying. Let's try the third area. Event, all right. A boss encounter. Do we want to try and fight, guys? I mean, I don't know. We, we, we beat the slime readily enough. Let's try fighting. Blight guard. What the fuck? So I have 758. He has 3,397. And he does twice the damage to me that I do to him? Does this seem like any kind of a chance to win? I think running... I think we're back to running. God damn it. We should not have attempted this. We heal a little bit every turn. You see that? We didn't We didn't do anything but try to run there, and we still got back some hit points. All right, he lost sight of us. We are not ready for this at all. Let's explore area four. Pardon me. An item, that's good. A silver key, which is apparently common. Um, if we go to character now... And we look at inventory. So our silver key, our pamphlet, and our scrap metal are all there. Oops, A back. A back. All right, let's uh, explore area five. A diamond, nice. And finally, area six. Still daytime, yep. What was this? Enemies start battle at 90% health if you use this. A Hunter Soft Day Shard. And we get plus 10 strength, plus 3 vitality and defense 1. Our old charm was nothing, so of course he will equip that. That's good. So here's where we are, guys. We, we searched that whole area. We didn't find what we're looking for. Is there any other place we can go? Do we have to just keep searching the fields? I don't... I don't know. I mean, for now, I guess we don't really have a lot of option. Let's keep searching. This son of a bitch again. Imposing charge lot. Skeleton is unaware of his surroundings. Sometimes it's best to just snap your keyboard in half. <laughs> Alright, this one's nowhere near as bad as the other ones. This is I think the other two are like bosses. You're ready to move in. Let's do it. Let's um Let's tear him down as fast as we can. Let's try Smite Flurry. It hurt us, but we uh We did some damage to it. Um now let's try Bash. Sure, Divine Justice is fine. And finally, Final Blast. Alright. Finally, we killed something there. Skeleton has been liquidated. Alright, what is this thing? You have liquidated the skeleton. We got plus 26 experience and plus 24 gold. Alright, guys. This is interesting. I'm, I'm enjoying this. It's not uh, certainly not a standard roguelike. Uh, I'm not... I'm not Obviously, we don't have a map that we're walking around per se. And I'm assuming we will reach a point where the game will become more open world rather than just hanging out in this field. But there is a... Uh, our quest is to walk towards the burly figure up ahead. Let's, let's investigate it, I guess. Seems like we only have one option. I feel like I'm a little railroaded right now. Hey there! Welcome to West Haven. The name's Blacksmith. Be careful of the terminal. It's guarding that gate leading to the camp, Okay. You've unlocked two new abilities, Ultimate and Feral Ultimate. As a paladin, your Feral Lash temporarily gives you infinite mana. What? Okay, I don't quite know what that means. Now we have at least two options. We can go back to Gate 17, or we can look at the West Haven Fields. Um, we can also go to the Blacksmith. Let's see if we can spend our money to get something you know, bought. Let's try Q. Let's go to the Blacksmith. Hello, sir. Um... So we can see a bunch of different things we can do. E for mercenaries. So I mean, we can hire mercenaries. We can get a quest from him. We can talk. Let's try talking to him. What up, blacksmith? Enchantment. Enchantment. Just kidding. I only work for metal. Okay. <laughs> um, what do you do here, anyway? Let's ask him. I'm a blacksmith, buddy. What do you think I do? All right. Hey, it was just an honest question. Heh. <laughs> honest? Haven't seen that in a long time. Um, do you know anything about that strange woman? 
Watch your tongue. That's Diane of the Light's Watch. What the frick's the Light's Watch? You think Cirrus almost defeated the Matron by himself? He had help. Tell me more. I'm just a blacksmith. Go talk to a scholar or something. All right, fair enough. Uh, mind if I ask your real name? Why do you want to know? I'm a very curious person. I'd rather not tell. All right, I'm fine. Um, let's get out of here then. A back. Let's look at his items, I guess. One, view an item. So he sells this, a dagger. Oh. As you can see, it has significantly higher attack rating than our broad axe. We are specialized in axes right now, but look at that. Attack 16 versus attack 2. Plus 2 dexterity, plus 2 vitality, versus plus 1 strength, plus 1 wisdom. Do we buy it right now? Like if we say no, can we come back and buy it in a minute when we see everything else you have? Or... Because I can afford it, and that'd be a hell of a step up, wouldn't it, that attack value? Let's say no thanks for now, and see if it's still available for her. I couldn't have tried to sell you the less terrible weapon. Oh, it's out of stock now. So you either buy it immediately, or you don't fucking buy it. Let's try view item. A new axe. Well, that'd be better for us anyway, wouldn't it? Um, maybe we'll get this. With an attack of 18 plus 2 wisdom. It's a much better axe. Let's buy this. For sure. Item equipped. Salvaging the old items. We got uh, scrap metal from the old item. Item purchased. And uh, presumably we're now using it. I can see that right now. An axe named Ono. Um, let's just... Let's try it now. Um, well, let's see what his third thing is. Maybe he has armor or something. We don't want that. No thanks. I believe it was cursed anyway. Good call. <laughs> I can redeem my scrap metal for what I don't know. Gold? Maybe we sell it? Let's try selling it. Let's try that. Please take this weapon. It's the least I can do. Um, well, it does give us plus four strength. It gives us much better strength and stuff. The attack rating goes down. But the rest of it goes up. What do you think, guys? Not knowing quite what the attack does. Oh, it deals 33% bonus damage to skeletons as well. Huh. Can we keep the old one if we... if we Can we swap them? I'll take it for now. I'll say equip it for now. Oh, no. Salvage the old one. You've obtained one rawhide. Alright, well, fuck. That's done. Alright, let's try Q for quest. Maybe he has a quest for us. I'm in need of a baboshka. Babushka? I can't seem to get enough of them. Okay. Um, shall we try imbue? Imbuing your weapon will cost too much. But it would make it plus six damage. That's kind of neat. And E for mercenaries. Let's see what this does. What is this? W. Mercenaries will take refuge at the Blacksmith's Forge. During combat, mercenaries will assist you, dealing bonus damage. Every turn, one gold will be detected from your inventory. If you run out of gold during combat, they'll retreat to the Forge. Remember to always dismiss mercenaries if they're too inept. More advanced mercenaries will join you later. Make room for them. Let's not do that yet. That's kind of neat. And uh, mercenary class perks as a paladin grant a 25% chance to reduce expose by two every turn. Don't know what that means. But let's not get them right now. We'll save that in our back pocket if we need, if we need them later. Let's press A for back. Yeah, Blacksmith was very useful to us, I think. Let's head on out into the West Haven Fields. Murr has bitten your left knee. It's nimble. It seems to be some sort of dragonfly. Nimble enemies will dodge some specific attacks. Um, I mean, it looks doable, maybe. It's already at 90% health, of course, because of our shard. Let's try the old bash. All right, well, we can tear this thing down. Then, um... X smite flurry. It's guarding. So you can see here we have options of things we can do that will break the opponent's guard. Um, if we attack while it's guarded, maybe it'll be doing less damage to it as a guess. I'm going to try re repositioning. Ability has failed. Cannot reposition while ensnared. I'm ensnared? I guess I can see that. Expose two and snare. Um, Alright, let's try three. I 
missed. We still seem to be in a snare. Cannot heal on a snare. I wasn't trying to. I was trying to break out of the snare. We could die here, guys. How do I get... A uh, Mur is tripping around. Press X to grapple it. Alright, let's try that. You have grappled and thrashed Mur for 336 damage. Am I still snared? Not knowing how to get out of... Um, oh, five. Break free. Let's do that. So we can you know, unleash our healing abilities. Not yet, though. Do it soon. We missed. Let's keep trying to tear it down first. Mur is winding up for a breathtaking pummel. Let's break free now, then, so we have the ability to uh, heal ourselves if we need it. You have freed yourself. Mur is dazed. I'm not sure if he caused that by breaking free, or if it's pummel backfired on itself, or what the hell happened there. Let's heal right now in case we get ensnared again. It's guarding once more. And I don't see any options to break its guard. So let's just try attacking it. Maybe we'll get a sense of, you know, does it reduce the damage or what does it do? I still seem to do a lot of damage despite its guarding. Maybe it could have blocked me? I missed. As soon as you miss, you're back to starting things. Let's go back to bash again. I think we're going to win this. We're wounded, apparently. An exposed nine, whatever that means. My divine uh, bash always misses, by the way, so far. In this combat. Let's try a holy light. We've almost got it. Let's try Divine Justice again, even though it won't work. It always misses for some reason against him. Maybe because he's nimble? You gotta learn which ones don't w work well with nimble. Let's try one last time just to see if it ever hits. No. Right, let's try Holy Light. Stuck every once in a while with this um, this third option if you don't want to heal. And I don't want to waste my magic points right now healing when I don't need to. Although I do have maximum magic points, so next time I'll just heal instead of doing that one for Holy Light. As you can see, he heals a little bit every turn too, so if you don't get him fast, then he's going to tear us down. keep getting even close with this, but not close enough. It's the third attack that just wastes time. Getting so close, man. Not close enough. Down to two little bars. Down to one fucking bar, guys. He's winding up. Let's heal. Critically, he, he bashed our exposed crotch for 116 damage. Is that what expose means? Are we literally exposing ourselves to him? 
Am I flashing this fucking dragonfly for shits and giggles? Oh, we almost got him, man. Let's take the, let's take the number two hit. Alright, he almost got us, but not quite. Damn it. I don't know, guys. This is uh, turning into quite the protracted and somewhat painful battle of just having him on the verge. He's already back to five, man. We had him at one for a long while. We just don't seem to be able to land a killing blow here. Nor do I fully understand. We're, we're slow. He slowed us down. Delightful. We're still... No, we're not slowed anymore. I think we have to run again, guys. Um, we have a much better chance of running, but we're just not we're just not quite getting him there. It looks like he's bleeding. But I don't know. Bleeding for six turns, maybe? I don't know what that means. Let's try running. That kind of sucked. But, um, what are you going to do? Dovetail has trampled you with his legs. Remember to heal up between battles. Though I knew that, but I just didn't seem like I needed enough. Well, let's just try him. Hopefully all three of our attacks will hit him. He didn't say he was nimble. Now he's guarding. And I don't see... Oh, I can do this. I can reposition to break his guard. Let's try the final attack. This guy we're going to get. Shield slam. Mending slam. Done. Alright, 25 experience, 71 gold. We have wiped the dovetail. Level up! Alright, so uh, once more we can put points into various things. Um... I'm going to put it into Dexterity, I think all of it. And we can upgrade one of these things. Let's upgrade our attack by 2.5. And I guess we're going to stick with fucking axes. Um, we're at 43 minutes. We're going to keep going for another 17 minutes. I'm enjoying this. I'm very intrigued by what it is. And I do think there are some serious roguelike elements at work. Like we're just walking out here and meeting random shit. Um... But I I worry that it won't be entertaining for you to watch. So please let me know at the end of this episode, you know, if you want to see much more of this or not. Um, I'll, I'll be a day ahead of you. So even if you say no, I'll probably record a second episode if we're still playing. But I will, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll put it on the back burner if, uh, if people don't want to see it. And if you do specifically want to see it, tell me that too. Because if, you know, one person says I don't want to see it, one person says I do, then I'll default to do. But I, I can't imagine this is that entertaining to watch, aside from the ASCII art, which is pretty interesting to see. It feels like just a lot of random shit, you know? This is a quest we're getting from Vidoso, who will not be able to sleep until the Matron returns his potatoes. Do I only have one quest? Like, I thought I had a quest for, for what's-his-fuck, too. Our quest is open gate 17 and defeat the terminal. We could just head there. Instead of just grinding. Let's try that first. The terminal awaits you. Beep, boop, beep, boop. I will terminate you. Okay. Uh, translocation meter equals lock. <laughs> this boss will attempt to lock onto you. If you reposition or run, the lock meter will be diminished. If the boss locks on, 
a missile will be launched at your face. Understood. Boss, user runtime error detected. Please do not run. <laughs> Alright, we're ready to smash. It's ready to fight. I have an ultimate attack, which is Holy Wrath. Shall we do that right away? Let's try it. Although we can't get any we can't get any fucking magic points out of it, so let's not do that yet. Let's try bash. You've hit the terminal for a fuck ton of damage. It has sapped my heal and has hit me for 19 damage. I'm assuming when I heal, I'll heal less then. Um you can see it's uh, next to the word shrouded, you see an L under lock. I'm assuming that when that fills up, it locks on. Maybe it gets one per turn. Let's try Holy Wrath for now. You have pulverized the terminal for 999 damage. It hit me for 30, but the lock thing didn't sh didn't fill up anymore. All right, let's go back to Bash. And X Smite Flurry. You see it's filling up his lock meter. Divine Justice. And final damage. Final blast. Did it fill up two levels of lock at once? It was at LO. Only one instance of Master Race detected. Lock on speed upgraded. Uh-oh. Um, let's dodge. Oh, we, we don't have any dodges. Uh, we don't have any reposition things here. It said if we run, that will also defeat it, right? So maybe we run with five. Your escape attempt has failed. Did it... Didn't hit me for much. And it didn't fire at me. Maybe the next time it tries to lock, it fires? I don't know, guys. I guess we will try a Divine Rend. Its lock thing has disappeared. Maybe when I ran it, defeated its lock? I don't know. Not quite sure I understand this. Oh, it got me now. Scene. Not the end of the world, though. healed myself. I think it's going to hit me with a missile again. I don't have any ability to run or anything. Oh, let's try the ultimate. Holy Wrath. We're exposed. Whatever that means. And again, there's no option to you know, do one of the repositions because I haven't used any of my attacks. Now I can if, if I think it's going to shoot me, but I don't see it filled up. I don't know what to do with this. I don't quite understand it. I can reduce my exposure status by repositioning. Oh, we're, we're, we're getting it close to dying, so let's keep going. Beep boop, my internal circuits are on fire. Woe is me. Alright. It's burning. Final blast. It is burning. That's good. We need to get back some magic points soon. If we reposition, we can break its guard and get back 50 magic points, which will let us heal if we need it. That seems like a good idea to me. It bashed our exposed crotch, because it's a cheating robot. Let's do Holy Light to heal ourselves. And let's begin the process of just tearing it down again. It's winding up for an extravagant pummel. Actually, for a extravagant pummel. Let's do the, the finisher. After we finish the finisher, the Holy Wrath came back. You may have to complete a finisher sequence to get that back. I don't know. It mega pummeled me for 88 damage. Let's Holy Wrath it. There you go. The terminal has been massacred. Indeed it has. Shutting down. Please do not unplug or remove sword. <laughs> You sift through the wreckage of the terminal, examining microchips and circuit boards. 
What is this? Where does this machine come from? Not having enough answers, you bring the machine back to the blacksmith. Blacksmith. Hey, let's give him a new voice. This robot was built in the city of Kaldora. Sounds like fucking Scotty. Really? How did you know that? He throws a broken memory chip. It says, made in Kaldora by T Machinist Industries, which is etched on the back. I've heard rumors about him. Some say he's brilliant. Others say he's in league with the Matron. You have to find this machinist if you want more answers. But Keldora's a long ways off from here. They say it's filled with robots. If you want to go there, you'd better get started now. During the night, the pieces of the terminal reassemble themselves and sneak out of the blacksmith's front door. You haven't seen the last of me. As you prepare for the journey ahead, you come across a disheveled, wild-eyed local. Help us! Help! You stop to listen, wondering what's wrong. Some, some crazy man is killing people! Harvesting them for organs! He feeds the scraps to some creature living in our town's monastery! That doesn't seem like a particularly plausible story. You inquire further. The crazy man calls himself a doctor! He showed up a few weeks ago and drove out the Brotherhood monks in the Great Monastery. He and his bandit henchmen have been cutting people up and selling their organs, then feeding their remains to a creature chained up in the monastery basement. You nod solemnly, wondering whether you should help these people. The path to the monastery involves a lengthy detour, and you can't afford any distractions. The Brotherhood had a lot of valuables stashed in the monastery. Well, then. The monks didn't take any of it when they ran, so it's a place to get some loot. If you rid us of the doctor, everything's yours. Kaldora can wait. <laughs> I, I would appreciate, I'll be honest, uh, it sounds like I've made my decision to go there, which is kind of a funny way of saying it when, when it tells us, hey, the loot, oh, Kaldora can wait. Um, but I would I'd prefer to have the option, do I proceed to Kaldora or do I go here? We'll see, if, maybe I will. Great job smashing up that terminal. I was worried for a second there. Uh-oh. Bumbling boogaloons. Bandits are incoming. Ready your weapons. We got one soul shard. You've massacred the terminal. We got a lot of experience and a lot of gold. <laughs> Item drop. Interesting. A cleaving weapon. Uh, pull, I, I like our old one because we, we studied this, right? So I think we're just going to salvage that, even though it... Oh, fuck, that's a, that's a steep increase, isn't it? Better attack value, better wisdom, better dexterity. Maybe we're going to have to start you know, broadening our horizons on what kind of weapons we will use. Let's equip it. Alright. Um, I think we're going to go wisdom this time, guys, to try and get our, our spell points to regenerate faster. All wisdom, all the time. Let's go with our attack again, if it'll let us do so. And let's work on pull arms. Oh, pull arms are heavy weaponry. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll keep going with that then, for now. Quest is save the village, destroy the raiders in the rogue camps. We could go directly there, or we could hang out in the West Haven fields trying to grind for a bit. We've only got a few minutes left. Let's try and just grind a bit, learn a bit more about the game. Oh, wait, look at all these places we can go to. The market, the temple, the library, campground character. Well, I guess the same. Let's, let's go to the market. Let's see what the hell's there. There's also a tavern and a coliseum. This is interesting, man. What was that noise? Um, buy a silver key. Don't know why I do with that. We could sell a silver key or sell a diamond. Can we get a quest from him too? Does it override our other quests? Like, how does this work? Let's talk to this dude. Don't touch the hood. Can I help you? How does a pretty girl like you guard all those items? May I ask your name? Let's, let's, not, let's not be a fucking pervert paladin hitting on her as soon as we meet her. Let's ask her name first. Then we'll hit on her. You may ask, though I don't have to answer. Okay, I'm asking. Cynthia. You can read the letters above my head? Oh. Touche, Cynthia. 
Um, what made you stuck with these rough? What made what made you stuck with these ruffians? Stick with these ruffians? I guess. Ruffians? You mean that Joker or blacksmith and that meathead Gladius? I just mean it seems like a dangerous line of work for a girl. That's misogynistic, man. You don't find them intimidating at all? I guess I do. Quite the other way around. Hoods have power, you know. All right. Do you have family around here? This is all getting kind of creepy. I'm like, uh, that could be an innocent question, but it could also be like, will anyone notice if you go missing? My mother is dead. My father... Oh, I'm sorry. That noise is not me, if you're wondering what that noise is. It sounds like a fart, and it's not me. Just for the record, it's coming from the game. Perhaps it's best that you don't know. I like. I feel like I want to advance the story, therefore I want to ask some of this stuff, but how does a pretty girl like you guard all those items? That's, um, that's just blatant hitting on her. With a knife and a quick wrist. And how do you know I'm pretty? Um, that ASCII EI is pretty damn hot, lady. Well, I can see a bit of you through your hood. A bit, huh? And that's all you're going to see. <laughs> Alright, let's go back from here. We've disturbed her day enough. Um, nothing here I want to buy. And I don't know about the quest. I don't know if we can do this. Q for quest. I'm in need of a cherubi. I can't seem to get enough of them, so it's something we can bring back to her. I don't know if that... Q... I don't know if we took that or not. Our quest is still save the village. Let's visit the temple. Oh, we can burn a pamphlet or smelt a silver key. Um, or pray. Or look in a mirror? Let's talk to the temple dude. To you, I proffer the great book. Read and be enlightened. Say, this is a mighty fine temple you got here. So, what exactly do you do here? Do I need to take off my shoes? <laughs> Let's go with three. You can wear shoes if you'd like. Okay. I'll take off my shoes. Okay, let me put my shoes back on. <laughs> Are you part of the Brotherhood? We did hear about a Brotherhood and the, the monks there. Why, yes, I am. I serve the Brotherhood. Do you like potatoes? Potatoes? I sacrificed a few this morning. Religious freedom is the only freedom we need now. Say, this is a mighty fine temple you got here. Oh, this temple? I constructed it myself. <laughs> No way, I don't believe you. Jealousy is not an agreeable trait. Some claim there is a big brother, but I don't think so. So what exactly do you do here, brother? I have devoted my life to serving the Great One. What else? Does he grant you wishes and stuff? Who or what is the Great One? The Great Book talks all about him. Some claim their own. Okay. Maybe that's the Great One. Like, why would I want to burn a pamphlet? What does that do? I guess let's try it and find out. Let's burn a pamphlet. It's your lucky day! A small charm emerges from the embers. Okay. A new charm... Crunks... Crunk Cyclone Ring. Will give us defense 1, plus 1 dexterity, plus 1 vitality. Our old one is better. Let's salvage the Crunk Cyclone Ring. Alright. Let's smelt the silver key because that worked out last time. All right, scrap metal. That's all we got from that. All right, well, fuck. What are you gonna do? Let's pray. You bend down and start praying. All right. Not sure anything happened there. Let's try mirror. You seem to be in a pessimistic, evil mood today. Actually, quite the contrary. I finished a, a radio interview for Stuff the Saturnians right before recording this. I'm in a great mood. I'll uh, I'll put a link to that when it when it finally emerges online. After it's done, whatever else it's gonna do. What is this monster power level? W. This bar allows you to adjust the difficulty of enemies. These changes are global and will apply to all areas. Higher difficulties will yield higher experience and gold drops to adjust the power level. It presses Z. Let's just stick with whatever it's doing baseline. I don't want to mess with it. Maybe it's at zero. That's fine with me. Alright, lastly, let's go to the library and then we'll call it quits for the day, guys. Library. Oh, uh, we could have sold the pamphlet. Or we can bind a book. We do have a ride, don't we? Didn't we get that? I don't know. Let's read the Fable of Yadis. Oops, two. You've read Fable of Yadis, gaining 71 experience. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's read the Fable of Aeol. Ayo! You've read the Fable of Ayo! But it puts you to sleep. Read the story of Cyrobasio. You've read the story of Cyrobasio. 
but it puts you to sleep. Only the first guy was any good. We can bind a book now. Let's do it because we can. You've bound some books with rawhide, adding them to the library. All right. Let's read then, having done it, the fable of Ayol. Even though the last time it put us to sleep. There, we gained experience for that. All right. All right. Next, let's talk to this dude. Need a hint? The second letter is U. Huh? You must read books all day. Oh, it was me talking to him. Got any books that rub you the wrong way? Say, well, would you happen to have a potato? Sure, we're looking for one of those. Let's ask him that. No, nope, never have and never will. Please tell me the pin to open that door over there. You never get the craving for potatoes? No way, I even hated them as a child. Alright. Are you part of the resistance? I don't know what the resistance is to. Let's keep this on the down low. The resistance? Yes, the resistance. We stand for th free thought and reason. Alright. Got any books that rub you the wrong way? I'd probably stay away from the great book. Oh, why do you say that? It's quite useless, full of nonsense. Alright. You must read books all day. Not really, I hate books. Then why are you a librarian? Who said I was a librarian? <laughs> no, a rotary phone won't work. One with letters, please. Alright. Let's go back. Um, Shall we try research? You've researched for three hours. Finding that you're completely bored. Let's try learn talents. We have two points. Okay, we can do that in the library, apparently. That's kind of neat. Um, if your hit points is less than 50%, you get plus 1% max hit points per turn. Whoa. Uh, brute force. Increased combat damage by 20. Of course we need that. Can we do any of this? Do we have 300 strength? Our strength is 17. No, we do not have 300 strength. <laughs> Let's try it anyway. No, it doesn't work. So we're not ready to increase anything. We need 300 in given categories to um, improve this shit. Incentive to specialize. Let's try W for inspect. Inspecting the bookcase reveals a locked door. Enter the four-digit pin. My birth year. I mean, if we really wanted to bore ourselves, we could just try entering every four-digit pin possible, but let's not do that. Um... If I was playing alone, I might try it. Probably not. I think that's it for now. Let's talk to him one last time. Let's talk to a uh, dude. Uh, say, would you have a potato? Uh, please tell me the pin to open that door over there. Why should I? I'm a very curious person. Fine, I'll give you a hint. The third letter is L. Happy? Oh, it's... it's, uh, it's y The second letter is U. The third letter is L. All right. Cult? Let's try C-U-L-T. Let's try P-U-L-L. -L. Uh, Walt. I mean, we don't know if it's a word, but if it is. Mold. U-L. Cull. Hull. Mull. Bull. Dull. Full. Gull. Null. Oh, there's only one L in null. Um, vault. I don't know how you spell it. Exalt. Um, yol, zol, zol. I don't know, guys. We have a, we have U and L. Sh should we ask him again? Maybe he'll give us another hint. You know you want to. Never. All right. Well, we don't know. We have U and L. Um, I'll give it some more thought. I don't know if it's a real word or if it's just a random um, conglomeration of letters, right? 
I think we're going to call it there for now, guys. I'm intrigued by this. Like, in terms of just personally playing, I think this would be a really fun game to play. I'm just nervous that it's going to bore the living Christ out of you guys watching, because you're not getting sort of an overhead view. You're not getting any sort of tactical value. We get into a combat, and we sort of step through it. If you are having fun with this and you are enjoying it, please, I'm asking you, tell me straight up so I know to continue. If you specifically don't want me to continue, please do tell me that, because I really... I dove into this kind of blindly. It is roguelike-y, but it's not, it's not a classic roguelike, it's not a traditional roguelike, and I don't know if it, I don't know if you guys are going to like it or not. Let's call it quits for now, um, if you can find out how. Save game. And let's go to main menu. Are you sure you want to save and exit to main menu? Yep. Sanctuary RPG Black Edition. Okay. There we go. As I said, I'll, I'll do a quick look online, see if I can find a link to the... Um, the free version, and if so, I can, I'll can include it to um, I'll include it on here. There certainly was a free version. Whether or not it still exists, I can't say. Um, if not, I'll include a link. If I can't find it, I'll include a link where you, where you can buy it on Steam for eight ninety nine. Maybe I'll include both in case you want the full edition. Um, I think it's pretty cool so far. It's, it's definitely uh, unique, and I'm loving the artwork. That's about all i got to say. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.